Hello everyone, Michael the Librarian of Magic here, finding and cataloging the magical and pointing you to it. Today is October the 2nd. I have another villain drawing as we continue through our uh, month of a different villain today. And uh, I'm just going to go straight for it because we have quite a bit of ground to cover today. Today's villain, or villains, are these guys here. Horace and Jasper. Horace and Jasper Badden. Or B yeah, Badden. From uh, 101 Dalmatians, 1960... I want to say 65 or 66, something like that. I didn't write that down. Uh, anyway, Horace and Jasper are brothers. The taller one is Jasper and the shorter one is Horace. Um, and uh, they are basically kind of mercenaries, you know, crooks for hire kind of thing. Um, they don't really have a particular allegiance to Cruella. They're just uh, being hired by her to go kidnap all of the the puppies, uh, Pongo and Perdita's 15 puppies. Uh, they These two guys do feature in the original novel by Dodie Smith uh, that 101 Dalmatians, the film, is based on. But in the novel... Um, Horace is the, the character of Horace is named Saul. Jasper is still Jasper. For whatever reason, they changed the name to um, Horace. Um, and a, a couple of other hallmarks, even though they don't have a particular allegiance to Cruella, a couple of hallmarks, hallmarks of their character in the movie. Um, Horace is kind of the muscle of the team, you could say. But he is... Um, rather afraid of Cruella, of her her rage and um, short temper. So he's kind of afraid of her, whereas Jasper has, he's sort of the brains of the operation of those two, and he has no respect for Cru Cruella whatsoever. So she, she shows a little bit more dislike for Jasper because um, he doesn't really, he's not really afraid of her that much. Um, the uh, characters were animated by um, a group of people, a bunch of group of legendary people: uh, John Lansbury, um, Cliff Nordberg, John Sibley, Eric Clayworth, Art Stevens, um, and they, you know, worked up these characters. Basically, um, John Lansbury, I think, was a uh, sort of principal on that crew, if I am not mistaken. Um, and they did a great job of getting getting the details of these guys all together um, and just sort of making them kind of, you know, British-looking crookish crook guys, I guess you could say, thugs. Um, the character of Jasper is voiced by J. Pat O'Malley, who is, I don't think, technically a Disney legend, an official Disney legend, but he really should be, um, because he was featured in a lot of um, sort of interesting and important facets of uh, the Walt Disney Company at the time. Um, he was in uh, several episodes of Spin the Spin and Marty show, which featured on the, the Mickey Mouse Club, um, as well as uh, the voice of Colonel Hathi, the elephant in the Jungle Book, Buzzy the Vulture, also in the Jungle Book, and he did some of the singing for one of those vultures. He, um, all of the characters that are featured in the Walrus and the Carpenter segment of Alice in Wonderland, he voices every single one of those characters. He featured in the film The Swamp Fox. He was the voice of Otto the dog in Robin Hood, Disney's Robin Hood. He was in the film Son of Flubber. Uh, he was in a, a short called um, The Sage of Winmore Smith, I believe is what it was. Um, and uh, in that one, well, that, that, that sort of deserves its own video. It's kind of a weird, interesting little project, but... Um, Essentially, he kind of reprises a, a, a Jasper character. Um, he was the voice of uh, Cyril Proudbottom and Mr. Winky in Ichabod and Mr. Toad. He was also the voice of Colonel in 101 Dalmatians, as well as Jasper. He also is the voice of the dunking pirate on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, um, the, the pirate that is dunking the mayor in the well. And... Uh, the voice of another elephant in a, in a Disney short called Goliath 2. 
Um, and then also really importantly, this this is one detail that I think he deserves to be uh, at Disney Legend 4 alone, aside from all of these other things I just mentioned. He is reportedly uh, Dick Van Dyke's dialect coach for Mary Poppins, um, which Dick Van Dyke very famously had a very bad um, British dialect and apparently in... Um, interviews, he blamed J. Pat O'Malley for his bad dialect. J. Pat O'Malley himself was a British man, um, as you could tell from all of these different roles if you if you listen to his work. So that that is a, just sort of a very funny tidbit to me. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the, I mean, being, being featured in Pirates of the Caribbean, The Ride, and all of these other projects and films, um, I say he should be a Disney legend. I don't, I, I'm not 100% sure why he's not already. Um, Horace was voiced by a, um, actor named Frederick Warlock, who was a really active, um, on the stage and screen from about 1938, 39, all the way to 1970. He was in dozens of films. Um, and I don't, I haven't really heard of most of them. Um, there were a bunch of them. I had heard of obviously, uh, Spartacus as a movie I've seen. He was in Spartacus and he was also in a movie with, uh, Elizabeth Taylor and Mickey Rooney called National Velvet, which is about a... A uh, horse that ra that races steeplechase, which is a, a pretty good movie that I've seen. Pretty much the rest of his filmography I'm not familiar with, but there are dozens of movies. So it'd be interesting to kind of uh, comb through that and see what some of his work uh, was like. But he did a fun job of um, voicing Horace here in 101 Dalmatians. Uh, they're just really fun characters. They've been, there have been many versions of them over the years, but this is just kind of specifically about the original animated film. And um, yeah, it's just, it was just really fun to draw them. And um, that's sort of what I ended up with. So I hope that was really interesting, learning a little bit about the actors and some of the people that created them. John's, John Lounsbury is a name that you should know about uh, amongst animators. Uh, who was one of Disney's nine old men, and those other people that that worked on it that I mentioned are also um, very common in those uh, character design teams that you if you if you research these things and look them up. So this was very interesting and very fun to draw. I hope that you enjoyed learning about Jasper and Horace, a little bit about the um, sort of sometimes bungling, sometimes not, uh, mercenaries for hire that try to help Cruella de Vil execute her plan. So that was a, a, um, fun to do, fun to draw. I'm happy with the way it came out, and I, I was very interested in learning about the voice actors, uh, particularly J. Pat O'Malley. So, um, yeah, hope that you found that enjoyable. And uh, if you're interested in their work or whatever, I hope this inspires you to go look that up for yourself and see some of that. If, if anybody has any comments about um, any of this information, please feel free to, to interact. Um, and maybe you've seen more maybe you've seen more of Frederick Warlock's uh, filmography than I have, what have you. So uh, yep, thanks for checking it out. I'll have another one of these tomorrow and uh, join me then whenever uh, that comes out. So I hope this uh, was great. Have a good day.